All right, guys, welcome to another edition of Big Rich's Bitchin' Kitchen. <laughs> this time, I'm going to actually give out my personal recipe for pumpkin rolls. Everybody loves them. I've tweaked out everybody else's recipe. I actually found the best recipe I've ever had uh, on this girl. We called her Storm. That was her online name. But uh, we, I took her recipe, and I tweaked it better. And then I found one that was even better than hers, and I added onto it and tweaked it even better and made our pumpkin rolls superb. Everybody has just... I get offered to buy, I, I got 20, 30 orders every, every Thanksgiving to people want to buy them and stuff. And I just can't do it no more. I don't have little Tracy with me helping me. It's a lot of work and then clean up. I haven't even started yet and I've already got some dishes here. So <clears throat> here's the problem. I don't have help to help me clean up. I, it, the cost of food has gone up ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to make the world's best pumpkin roll yourselves. Stay tuned. I'm Are you done yet? You around, you don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now first, I'm going to put this recipe in here right now for you. Go ahead and check that out. Okay, now, what we're doing is here, see how I've got it listed? This is pumpkin rolls, of course, but I've got step one, and then mix this. Step two, mix this, and then do it twice. This is for each one of the cake layers, the wet and dry, and then I'm making two at a time. So you gotta do this step twice in a row. Now, I've already done one, I'm gonna show you the second step now, or the first step the second time. All right, we're gonna take three eggs, two and three. We're gonna bust them up and put them into our bowl. And then two thirds cup of the pumpkin puree. Okay. All right, and finally, one cup of sugar. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. All that does is uh, makes the wet part of the cake, and then you mix that together. Now, what I like doing is busting all the eggs up and getting them mixed together, and then mix the other stuff into the liquid so that it blends evenly. Now, we're putting a puree in. There we go. Keep turning the bowl. We don't need no big fancy mixer for this. Although I have one right over there, KitchenAid mixer. Okay, so that's step one done. If you can look on the recipe, step one is three eggs, one cup sugar, two thirds cup of pumpkin puree. Now we're going on to step two. All right, so we take our second bowl that we have set up. Three quarter cups of flour, level, level flour. There you go. Never want to do heaping anything because then you change the recipe. It's too much. I use my finger to level out everything. Alrighty. There's three cups of flour, or three quarter cups of flour. Now, it's one teaspoon of the rest. We got baking powder, and I sprinkle it in all over, try and pre-mix it over the top. Cinnamon, And then also a teaspoon of the ginger. Level that out as you pull it out. Mix that all there. Okay. Now you've got a half a teaspoon of the nutmeg. See, I've done this so many times that I got this memorized, but you guys have to keep checking back to the recipe. If you want to try it, please don't change anything. First time, go ahead and make it like this, and I use another one so that it ain't wet to mix up all the dry ingredients. Mix them all together. There we go. Completely mixed. Now what you do is you take your wet ingredients 
and you put it into your dry ingredients. All right, let me get a spatula. One thing I didn't set out. You want to get every bit of this because there ain't much here, and you're only making a, a small little. I've made it thinner and I've made it lighter, so you ain't got much. Get every bit of your uh, mixture out of the, the bowl. All right, now we're going to mix this together, and that'll be pretty easy. You just don't want to mix fast until you get the flour incorporated or the dry mixture. Now you can mix fast. Scraping the sides. Now, what does the recipe say to do next? Okay. It says to take a 13 by 9 inch pan, jelly roll pan, which is this. Jelly roll pan only has like an inch lip all the way around it. And what we do is we spray it with butter pan, and then we put down tin foil. Now don't worry, it's not going to burn in the oven. And you lay it down, and then you spray the tin foil, or I'm mean, not tin foil, wax paper. Um, you spray that with butter pan too. And use the butter pan, it tastes better. It makes a difference. So now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here, and you're going to see... The trick to this because it's kind of rough you got to spread this out pretty well evenly as you're laying it out because it's going to be so thin it's hard it's not like a, a regular cake batter that'll level itself out you've got to level this and it's a little tricky I'll show you how once I get all the batter out remember I said we don't want to miss any Okay, that's about everything that I can get out of there. Now see, it don't look like there's enough to fill that. What we're going to do is don't touch your spatula to the uh, wax paper. So you just spread it out, try and smear it in there, and get it spread out everywhere you can. Now I'm going to turn it and spread it out this way to get it all the way to the sides. And we're going to keep doing that. What we're trying to do is get a thin layer coating the entire bottom. We don't want no big clumps anywhere. It may take a few minutes, but keep doing this until you get it all the way around. So now over here, I got the abundance here. I'm going to spread this in. Now you probably can't see that. There you go. That should be better. Spreading this in. Sorry, I don't have no camera people here to help me. My nurse is off for uh, Thanksgiving, and my son moved out. So I'm here alone, taking care of Tracy. I just fed her and changed her, and she's in there uh, settled and comfy right now. So I figured I can come in here and make this. But, you know, the last time I made the pumpkin rolls, everybody was mad at me that I didn't give out the recipe or show people how to do it. So, and I haven't done an addition of the... The, the kitchen show for a while. Okay, now that we got that spread out pretty thin um, to where it's all in there, I'm going to show you what we do. Yes, you'll be rinsing your fingers quite often in the kitchen. <laughs> now this might, I'll try and turn it down when I uh, edit this, but this is what you do. You just take this and keep dropping it on the pan. dropping it on the counter. What it's doing is gravity, it's hitting and spreading and taking the high spots and making it to the low. This will aggravate people in the house, so <laughs> I'm, I'm good that I'm here alone. Okay, now uh, you can take it and wiggle it too if you want, but that's pretty well done. What I'm gonna do is set these aside Okay, now that makes both of the cakes done for the first two um, pumpkin rolls. 
Now you see how thin the cake's going to be. It's like a jelly roll. We're going to roll it up. The cake is nice and thin, and it's got less cinnamon, less nutmeg in it than most other pumpkin rolls because it was three tablespoons of cinnamon. I took it down by one, then I took it down by another one. Now it's got a light hint of Christmas to it. Um, not so not so overpowering uh, cinnamon and nutmeg and and ginger and and you know pumpkin. It's it's a nice light flavored and real light thin cake now when i roll that up here's my secret i double up the inside that i'm going to show you how to make next so now both of these are set aside and waiting to be done okay let me set you back up here there we go okay now the recipe see i still follow my own recipe because i got it written down in steps um now you put that in the oven. Now, the oven has to be heated to 350, and then you have to put this in the center rack. Uh, if your oven's big enough with your jelly roll pans, you can put two on the center rack and be great. Um, but only 11 minutes, because it's so thin. Um, you put it in for 11 minutes, and I'm gonna show you what we do after it comes out. Okay, now, <clears throat> while the oven's warming up, it's only on 175 right now. I went ahead and washed what we're going to use. Oh, I missed one. Washed what we're going to use. I missed two. <laughs> Look at that. Wash the bowls that we got to reuse to make the next set. These are sitting here. Now, usually you can go on to the next step while it's cooking. Not in this case. These things are so thin, they only take 11 minutes and you got to watch them. So don't go on to the next step until you put these in and cook them. Because when they come out, and I will show you when they come out, you have to let them, you know, cool off a little bit. And then I'm going to, I've got a neat trick on how to roll them up and not crack them. So we're not going to do the, the filling for a while yet. So right now I'm going to wait for the oven to get to 350. I'm going to cook them for 11 minutes and you'll see when they come out. Also, I've got to add, I showed you how to make one pan. You got to do that twice in a row. So now that you've done it twice, you've got two pans sitting here ready to go in the oven. You cook them both at the same time. Okay, next what you do, while you're waiting on the stove to heat up, because now it's still only up to 260, you take your Philadelphia cream cheese, the original, and you open them up. I gotta open this one up yet. Your real Land O'Lakes real butter and your confectioner's sugar and your vanilla. Set that out. That's gonna make your, your inside the cream filling. Uh, you want that to get room temperature. So we've got about an hour on these cakes because once they come out of the oven for 11 minutes, they got to set for 15 minutes. Then we got to roll them for, you know, 15, 20 minutes and leave them set like that and let them completely cool off. So you know, we can go ahead and set these out, get these ready for, uh, you know, baking. Oh, did you ever open a box with one hand? That's kind of rough. <laughs> I really need a camera person here. Uh, and, and you guys are going to tell me, get a tripod. Well, I have a tripod. It's sitting on the tripod right here. But it won't look down far enough for me. It's The tripod only goes this, stop, this far and stops. So, well, actually, here it is standing up. That's as far down as I can go. So I have to hold it and point down. But anyways, so now you've got your everything else ready. Four things of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, two things, sticks of real butter, your powdered sugar, and your vanilla. And uh, that's ready while we're waiting on the stove, which is 297 now. Um, and the, the cakes are ready. All right, I've got the 350. I put both of them in there, and we're ready to go. 11 minutes. Okay, now that you got both, both cakes out of the oven, we've got a few tricks here we got to do. For one, while it's cooling off, it's, this has been cooling for 15 minutes, I'm going to take the wax paper and give it a little pull. There we go. And I'm going to pull this out of the pan. There we go. Now, put the pan aside. We will do the next one in a minute. First, I'm going to show you what you got to do to each each cake. What we're going to do is take this towel, clean dish towel, and you want to get it wet. Make sure it's clean. 
Now, what you want to do is take it and wring it out. You want it as dry as possible. One more time. Okay, so now it's just a damp towel. We're going to set that down right here. Now the reason for this is, is we got to roll this up while it's still warm and pliable. So I'm going to take some powdered sugar. Now you might not like this, but this is how I've been doing it. So I put some down on the the actual dish towel. Do is you want to make the center a little bit larger so you pre start a roll there, okay? Now, see 11 minutes, it's pliable and there's no brown underneath. See how nice that is? I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole thing and push it here onto this towel right in the middle. I'm gonna pull off. The wax paper and throw it away. Now you can see I've got a start of a roll here. As I roll this up, it's working with a nice warm cake like material and moist in the towel. Now that it's rolled up, you can take this and place it anywhere. I leave it in here for about as, as, as short as 20 minutes, as long as an hour. So now that one's aside. So let me grab the next one. Same thing to this one. Grab the, oh, and if you've got extra wax paper hanging off, take scissors and cut it short because the extra stuff will burn and give your cake a, a burnt taste. So as long as you keep it short, you can see mine's about an inch above the cake, we're good. Ooh. Okay, now the pan's out of there. Let me get the next dish rag wet. Sorry for being tedious, but just showing you making pumpkin rolls is not for the beginner. It's not that hard. It's just a lot of little steps. That's why I wrote it down in the recipe step by step what to do. Take this whole thing and flip it over. And it helps with the with the wax paper, you know, moving this around and flipping it and stuff. This one's still a little warm. Okay. Okay, now that's two of the cakes ready. Now they can wait. Now we're going to start the inside, the good stuff. Okay, now this part is the, the, the filling for the in, inside, which is so good. Now I pre-opened three of these. 
I wanted to do this one in front of you just in case people didn't know how to open these. I don't know if people cut them open, they're a pain, but see how it's folded? You can unfold this one side, you grab it here, and then you pinch it right on the other side, and you pull it open. And then you open it. And it opens the whole package right on up. There we go. So now there's the four of our cream cheese pre-open. This is all room temperature. So what I am going to do is use the mixer this time. All right, now, so let me grab the mixer off of here. All right, now, what it says, if you go on to the next part, okay, is four packs of the cream cheese. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's all the cream cheese. Two sticks of real butter. And you know why I say to use the real ingredients? Spend a little bit extra because you're trying to make this, this dessert really good and you want everyone to like it. Well, if you buy cheap ingredients, you get cheap flavored. So buying the real ingredients, you get the end result is super tasty and everybody is just talking about your pumpkin rolls, you know, and why they're better. So, now let me go to the next one. Um, where is this teaspoon? Now it says, I'm reading off the same recipe that I showed you. Now it says three tablesp or teaspoons of real vanilla. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now, what it don't say on here is I put this in and mix this up so this all becomes a nice slurry, you know, free mix batter before I add the powdered sugar. So let me get to that. You can you can taste it right now. Look at that. You see that right there? Oh my God, is that heavenly? So now I spread it in the bottom of the bowl, and then I just put a line down the center. Now I know half is for one cake and half is for another. So let me turn this over to here. Clean this for you. This all goes in the garbage. This goes over here. So we're going to do one of these at a time. And we're going to roll it back up. Now see, it wants to keep its, its rolled texture. We're going to use this to roll it too. But we're also going to do wax paper. Well, let me, let me fill it first. Now, part of my tweaking this recipe out was doubling up the amount of filling that goes inside these things because the filling was the best part. Less cake, more filling. Okay, now this right to here is exactly half of the batter. See half? We're going to go ahead and put the other half aside. And I'm going to take this and spread it on out evenly. All the way to the edges.
Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, which way should you I roll it? I want the most. So this here will be on the inside. So I'm going to pull this back some. And I'm going to get the wax paper for this side. Here's the wax paper. Now, put that under there just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to try and fold this over. I'm going to use the towel. Let me get you a better angle. How's that? Isn't that better? Now, as I pick up on the towel, I'm going to roll this onto itself. And I'm just going to keep rolling. The cake's nice and moist. And then I'm going to roll it onto the tin or the the wax paper. And I want to just keep rolling it up. Now this here, you put in your freezer right away. Here comes the other one. All right. Second half is a lot quicker than the first half, huh? Making all that cake is it's time consuming, let's face it. There was a bunch of steps in there that normal cakes don't have. I've tried it without the steps that I have, so if you try skipping steps, your 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 cake here ends up cracking. So I suggest not to skip any steps. Okay. Leave a little on the batter so you can taste it yourself later. All right, so we're going to do this one again. I'm going to start to roll this, have it roll onto itself. Now see how much uh, frosting it leaves in the middle there? That's awesome. Oh, I forgot to do the wax paper. The wax paper under the edge of this really helps. If I can lift it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's pull this up, roll this up, and continue rolling. There, wax paper is over. And what you want to do is do this tightly and evenly okay let's go ahead and put this in the freezer and that is two pumpkin rolls almost done now that's pumpkin roll with extra cream filling well I forgot to show you guys I was doing this and I figured I'd, I'd record it but um you have to take uh, your powdered sugar and cover it with powdered sugar before serving. Now what you do is you take it out of the, the freezer, leave it set out for 20 minutes before you cut it and serve it. And that'll make it nice and soft. There you go. So now it's ready for serving. It's got enough powdered sugar on it, you're good to go. And I just use a, a wire whisk and powdered sugar, like so. So there is your pumpkin roll, done, ready to go, ready to eat. Hope you guys liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're cooking pumpkin pies today and the deviled eggs. Uh, so 
you guys like our, our holiday videos or even our normal fish videos, just like the channel, subscribe, and share the videos. And, and as always, stay fishy, my friends.